Okay, so let's talk about the OF2, which is once again we are talking about number problem number four. It's about the Basper uh, theory and the balance bond theory. Uh, balance bond theory, uh, we essentially they are asking about what kind of hybrid orbital, which is a number two here, and Basper is essentially what kind of geometries, and uh, they can talk about the Lewis structures as well. So these are the, when it comes to the molecule, you need to figure out the electron uh, group geometries and the molecular shapes, and then what's the hybrid orbital, and what kind of hybrid orbital in the center. Okay, so the third problem that we are talking about is OF2. So let's find out where oxygens are. Oxygens are on the sixth column, and fluorine is once again is in the seventh column as a halogen. So this one, uh, the oxygen means six electrons. Okay, and then once again, the fluorine like to form one bond, they need a one electron because fluorine is a seven electron, uh, seven balance electron. So therefore, among six electron, two electrons are being used to form bonds, two bonds with fluorine, right? So once, once you use that up, what you have left with is, I got four electrons are left with and that four electrons two electron one lone pairs another two four, another lone pair so there are two lone pairs of uh, electron group geometries and you got two bonds so therefore electron group geometry wise uh, number number which is a uh, lone pair numbers and bond numbers you got two lone pairs you got two uh, bonds, so there are four, four electron group. It is almost automatic when you see the four electron group uh, geometry. What I mean by is electron group geometry is tetrahedral and then the hybridization hy hybrid orbital is sp3. So that means four, right? Four orbitals are um, mixing together and form the hybrid orbital. And so that's the answer for this. So uh, this geometry gives uh, in, uh, uh, essentially a frame for where to put those bonds and lone pairs. So, so this is a tetrahedral geometry. And then I'm going to put in the center oxygen right there and then I'm going to I need to put two two lone pairs and the two bonds right so lone pairs uh, you can put uh, here you can put here and that you ended up with fluorine and fluorine with the bonds so I can draw the bond like this I can draw the bond like that and so and the lone pairs on the fluorine is like this. So this one now ended up oxygen with lone pairs, lone pairs with fluorine, with fluorine. You can do that. Uh, but if you're looking at the way people, that's a little... Now that the way that we people do is as you have previously we have discussed in the structure of the water people essentially put the oxygens and simply put these two bonds on the same plane they can think about that way and then those are essentially two lone pairs are on the twisted positions as a tetrahedral so by doing so this is uh, essentially tetrahedral uh, electron group geometry and also the oxygen is now sp3 hybridization to dealing with the four uh, electron group geometries right and then you want to do this like this and that will make up the essentially overall shape molecule i hope you have uh, this is essentially the same one i'm just to uh, reorient them and uh, um, this one is 
auto plane both auto plane but this is sticking out and then this is a uh, moving away fading away so that's why uh, from the plane from the plane okay so that's why they use a broken line to kind of uh, give you suggesting that it is a fading away so OF2 once again that's a 4 EG tetrahedral geometry and and this is a what kind of shape do we call this this is a essentially we call bent or sometimes people call V shape Okay, so depending on who you are talking to, but it is a bent shape. And hybrid orbital wise, you always look for the four, so sp3 hybrid orbital. Okay, so that's the answer for the OF2 molecule. Thank you for your attention.